One topic, for example, uh, was biomimicry, where we studied uh, sort of natural strategies that various fruits and vegetables adopt in surviving uh, and making uh, adaptions uh, relative to their sustenance. Each student picked uh, um, a topic. Uh, Robert picked the raspberry. Perhaps you want to talk as to what interested you about that. At the point in my, at that point in my education, I was tired of being so linear with my design studio. So the raspberry kind of just appealed to me in its very organic and bulbous nature. Um, it was also quite interesting to see how these small sacks of fluid and membrane together formed this fruit, and that intrigued me incredibly. One student took a horned melon and uh, examined the way the horned melon uh, keeps from rotting on the ground uh, and developed a whole uh, architecture relative to uh, his piece of furniture that would enable it to have multiple positions on the ground and yet always have three points of contact. You had selected the celery. Right. What were some of the things that you discovered about the celery? And so I picked the celery because it intrigued me how lightweight it was, but at the same time it was very strong. And then I also found that the celery was 90% water. So I know that when I would address and use those characteristics towards my furniture, I wanted water to interact with it. 